A new B-axis turning option is now available inside of the Turn Finish Operation parameters in CamWorks 2021. In order to finish this part, we have to use multiple finish operations to get all the undercuts. I have a finish operation applied to it, and you can see how the tool misses some of the geometry because of the angle of the insert. To activate B-axis turning, I will edit the Turn Finish operation. Go to the Turn Finish tab and click on the Continuous B-axis checkbox down here at the bottom. I'll click on the B-axis Settings button to activate the settings of how I want to control the axis movement. The Constant Angle type will try to maintain the defined angle of the insert in the operation parameters and only tilt the B-axis when necessary. Here I can define how the B-axis incremental angle is set and down here I can define the limits of the B-axis. The sharp corners options allow me to set how I want the tool to act when it comes to a sharp corner and here I can control the smoothing distance and angular resolution for these sharp corners. To illustrate this I'll select the constant angle type accept the default as is and click OK. When I preview the toolpath we can see that the generated toolpath now machines those corners where it was not able to machine before. If I run a step through we can see that the tool now tilts on those areas. If I zoom in on this radius I can see that there's still an area where it's not quite cleaning up. This is because I have set some constraints in my options. I will go back to the operation parameters and edit the B-axis settings. I will change the minimum and maximum angle under the limits to a bigger value and regenerate the toolpath. If I go back to the B-axis settings and change the type to at an angle to the feature curve, the tool will try to maintain a constant angle to whatever edge it is machining. The angle of the tool will be limited by the minimum and maximum angles input and also the collision checking between the holder and the part. We can now see this as I run through a step through and then a simulate toolpath.